All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where today we are in SnowRunner, and we're gonna do continue with Rural Spelunker, uh, but we're gonna do something a little bit differently. We are going to take the dairy. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, we're doing something exactly the same. I didn't even see this. Okay, good. Got a little nervous there. I wasn't going to be able to get off of it. <laughs> uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to drive the dairy over to the, uh, I believe it's the forest cabin. Yeah, it's the forest cabin here. We're going to drive it there and then we're going to drive the tartan over to meet it. And then we're going to fill up the tartan and then use the tartan to get the, the rest of the uh, tasks taken care of. Uh, we're chewing through some pretty deep snow right here. Uh, today's the, uh, the first day that it's been... I wouldn't, I, it's not technically cold, but relatively speaking, it's cold, so, uh... It's cold and wet, so... I'm actually, uh... Covered up under a blanket right now just to keep warm so that I don't start shivering or my, my teeth don't start clamoring, because... Yes, my, uh, whoa, oh, wow, that was a deep hole. Uh, my, my whole system is, uh, my whole setup, I should say, is in the basement, so it's not very warm down here. And I'm pretty sure the wife still has the AC on from, uh, needing to get the perfect night's sleep. Um, I'm actually going the wrong way. Why did my... Hmm. Alright, change of plans. Uh, this is where the curtain is. I'm kind of heading, heading over to the lake cabin right now. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just continue over to the lake cabin. We've got a, a full tank of gas. Oh, you know what? I remember this trail being, um... I literally remember it being impassable with this truck, so... Um, that right there, you, you sink into. I don't know if there's a good way around. We're gonna try it. This, this may just be a complete, absolute waste of time. Uh, let's actually go into low plus, throw on our diff. And of course, now we need a backup, so... <clears throat> Alright, so that was, uh, that was actually a little easier said. Actually, easier done than said, to tell you the truth. It wasn't too bad at all, so... Um, like I said, this dairy is just... It's pretty phenomenal. Uh, let's hang a left here. Like, we're supposed to go way up that way, I think? I still honestly don't know where this trail goes. Like, it says there's a road here, but you could have fooled me. Yeah, I don't know. It says it goes up that way. Maybe we should have just gone straight. One of those things, you can't can't really fit these trucks through here. But I can, uh, I sure as hell can try. <laughs> now, I think if I just go down that hill, yeah, we'll, we'll be pretty good. I start heading down this hill. Ooh, slow down. We can kind of make our way over to the ice and travel that route. It's, it's probably faster. A little bit more dangerous. Just because I have a tendency of flipping things over. Yeah, we should 
easily be able to bounce around those. Put her back in auto. Alright, we're going around the long way. But you know what? We're going around, so... Uh, I never put a marker up, did I? As I'm drifting and sliding to a stop. Did it, did it still not put a marker on? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's one of those markers that disappears when you, uh... Yeah. <laughs> it, it's over there. It's fine. Uh, the million dollar question is, where do we... I guess we'll go... This way around and then up the road? Seems like a viable, viable choice. And the good thing is, is, oh, well, no, it's not really breakable. Ooh. Sometimes I prefer to drive over this stuff here, because it's just so... It's so... <laughs> icy and breaks apart and it's just destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and put our diff lock on, get over those rocks. Aww. One of these, one of these days, these maps should have like really nice places to to visit. Like, I would like to go to a nice modern cabin built on an island in the middle of the sea. You know, like, because technically, or I guess it's on the edge of the the edge of the uh, the bay here. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and spin around and head back and geez, maybe, maybe we can actually get to here and then we can take the tartan over here and, and that completes, almost completes the check. And then, uh, cause this is a fuel carrier too. So that probably could have been smarter. <laughs> I would have remembered that that fuel tanker was there. Uh, we could have taken the tartan to fill up there and then dri driven around the entire place, but uh, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. This uh, the dairy does pretty well. It's not loaded down. It doesn't have a trailer. It doesn't have anything on it. It's just a big truck driving through uh, big terrain. We're going to try to leave that pine tree. Perfect. Uh, probably go in auto. Now that we're back on ice. The nice thing about this truck though, versus the Tartan, uh, is its speed. Or at least it seems like it would be good. <laughs> it all depends on how you drive it. I almost wish I had a higher gear, but we all know what would happen if I did. Um, we're like literally right there. Million dollar question here. How do we get up there? You know what? We're in the dairy. We can make our own path. I think I see one over this way. Really? You're going to tell me that I can't be using my differential over that? I'm literally on rocks and snow. Like, that's what it's built for. Alright, anyway. Let's wind our way up this hill. Um. Ooh. 
Guard house on rocks. I think you want to kind of go this way. A little bit of winch, winch action there to make sure we made the turn. They uh they weren't messing around when they made this uh this rut through here. Um could we go up that way? I think we can. Rape, it's fine. It's fine. We don't we don't own this truck, so we don't have to worry about fixing it. <laughs> Drive it like you stole it, right? Uh, maybe we should just focus on driving it. Okay, that should be fine to get through there. Perfect. Apparently, my plan of using the tartan was a complete and utter. Uh, well, it was completely utterly useless. We didn't. We didn't need it. Um, but now, now I think we will switch to it because it's just a matter of distance. Let's stop the engine there. Pick up the tartan. We've got forty-seven gallons of fuel. That should be okay. Let's drop a marker in. I think we're gonna have to go here and then here. And yeah, we can just go around this uh, ramp here where I parked really inconveniently. Oh, this this thing has no turning radius. <laughs> That's the other thing I like about the dairy is that it just the turning radius on it is nominal. But yeah, this thing can just pretty much go through anything. Uh, better go left or right. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run over some trees. Avoid that water at all cost. Um, and then we're gonna weasel our way up this this slope. She's struggling a little bit through here. That's all right. That's what the winch is for. There we go. Uh, that's going to be tight through here too, but... No, no worries whatsoever. Perfect. And the last one is way over here. Ah, we don't have a vehicle on this side. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Nice and convenient. Well, I think I think the dairy. Ah, uh, we could use the new Caleb. Polib. I still don't know how to pronounce it. We can kind of fire this up, get it going down the hill. Let's give it a shot. What direction do we need to head in? Uh, we need to go left. How did we get up here? We came... Ooh. No, we should be... 
going straight will get us to the road. The road will not get us back home. I think we go straight backwards. Yeah, let's go straight backwards. Let's see how capable this thing is going in reverse. And is it me or is that an alarm? Oh, you know what it probably is? I'm an... I'm an idiot. Besides the fact that I'm stuck now, like, come on. Uh, it's the backup warning thing. You know, the little beep beep beep. Yeah. That's what that is. Alright. Because now it magically stopped because we're not going backwards. Wait. Okay. So. Um. Fortunately, I don't have a way down. Hopefully we can weave a way, our way through. Those trees should be nothing. Rock. Bounce. I think if we go straight, we gotta get around this tree. And then hopefully go straight. Oops. Here goes all the birds. Think we can go straight through there? That's a tight fit. That's a tight fit. And we're through. Alright. Um, yeah, we definitely don't need to go there anymore. I'm tempted just to go straight for the ice. I think I'm going to head down here. Yeah. I'll just head down the ice, go straight through. Avoid any, avoid any issues or obstacles and just have a nice easy drive. And probably call it a night because uh, the sun is starting to go down. Go ahead and turn on our headlights so we can see. Uh. A shortcut to the ice. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a drop, but nothing too bad. And somebody needs to start a YouTube video that actually drives trucks like these in conditions like these, where they just make their own their their own path through anything. Yeah, that would be uh, that would definitely be a great YouTube video or uh, channel, I should say. I uh, I would love to start that, but unfortunately, I don't have the capital to do that. So, uh, if you guys want to donate, that would be amazing. Can you imagine if we got enough money to donate to buy trucks like these? And then we would just drive them off-road. The, uh, and, and basically make our own path and figure out our own waypoints and things like that. Do a, a real-life snowrunner. Um, I'm sure, uh, what is it? The, not the EPA, but, um, not the Humane Society. Oh, my, my brain is lacking. Not even PETA, but environmentalists, that's what I'm going for. Environmentalists would go nuts over uh, us just plowing through the woods and running over trees and probably, uh, you know, destroying the terrain. It, it seems like today you can't even have ATV trails without somebody, you know, freaking out over, oh, there's a... There's a tree or there's a, a special bunny or something like that. And I'm like, most of the trails around me have been closed down because of damage to the environment. And I'm like, if you make trails that people can ATV on or off-road on or whatever, and they stick to the trails, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Sure, if there's a spotted newt or something, Maybe you have to close it down until the newt moves on. Uh, 
But seriously, like... This is stuff we do for fun. Or at least we used to, because now we can't, because it seems illegal. Unless you go way, way, way far away. Anyways, that's my rant for the day. Uh, but yeah, I would have I would have loved to do that. That was 9,000? That was so easy. I should do another mission like that. That's ridiculous. Um, what do we got here? Vehicle spare parts. I'll drop them off to the garage, pick them up from there. Uh, they are... Oh, oh, wow. It's a helicopter. All right, that will be a... A Yar? Could be the Ford. We could do the Yar. I think the Yar is kind of... Yeah, it's in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere near... Trailer store, and I don't feel like driving it back to a trailer store. That's, that's really the problem with this map. That there's one trailer store. Well, technically two. There's the one over here, and then there's the one over here. It would be nice if there was a trailer store, say, here. Or even over here somewhere. Maybe there's one... Maybe there's one in... Oh, no, that's the tartan. Where was I? Yar, there you are. Oh, yeah, the Yar is completely out of gas. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just, uh, we'll recover it. Uh, we could use this. We haven't used this. Oh, we need a crane, though. Hmm. Did we bust you out? Let me see here. Let's customize this bad boy. Uh, do, 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 do. we need, yeah, let's get rid of the logging crane, crane, because that would be, uh, pointless. Okay, so we've got that, and we've got, this has a flatbed, does it not? Cargo box? Yeah, I can do a cargo box. I'm going to do the flatbed. I haven't done that in a while. And, uh, what do we got for colors here? I'm going to kick it back to old school. This is a uh, stock formation, although no, I'm going to go this route because at least it matches the uh, it matches the paint on the crane and even that color doesn't match the paint on the crane. Which kind of drives me nuts that that's not an option. Why would they just not paint the crane that color or another color that you could match to? But you know what? We're going to go with this uh, and we're going to bust out the uh, the Azov. And we were gonna wait till morning, so yeah, never mind. It's oh look at that, it's morning now. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man, uh do 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 do. We gotta figure out how to get to there. And yeah, it looks like we go out here, we go here, we go here. Maybe we hit these up. I don't know if I've actually activated those. We're going to draw this roughly. Go that way. That's that's kind of our our mission for today. We got 93 gallons of fuel. I wasted one gallon marking out my map. That's pretty typical of me. I don't see why uh, why would I why would I change that? Might as well keep that the same. Now this, this truck has pretty small tires for uh, what we've been using lately, so we're going to have to see how it handles through the snow. Now did I, did I accept these yet? I have not. Perfect. We've got more tasks. Where's the other one? Dead calm. Let's go hit dead calm real quick. I'm sure we haven't picked that one up yet.
Might as well try to get them all activated. Perfect. If you wanted to read it, I guess you could pause it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't really give you much time, but you should be able to uh, pause on it and give it a read. You know, I'm wondering how much skinnier because this this does feel a lot skinnier than the uh, than the tartan that I was driving, let alone the dairy. So I wonder if this would be uh, beneficial through these narrow trails. Oops. Well, probably is beneficial if I didn't hit them. Yeah, like, I mean, look at this. I'm not even, I'm not even trying. Like, oh, there's a big rock. Just go right over it. Why not? Oh, there's a little bit of mud. Nope, no, no issues there. Some trees, fine. Let's not even, let's not even see them. Like, they're pretty much toothpicks at this point. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost tempted to say that this is, uh, this is way easier than anything else I've done. Could I sneak through? Ooh. Ooh. I'm tempted to do it. Let's do it. Uh, you know what? It didn't take us that long to get here. So if we end up getting to a point where we have to recover or we can't get through because that's a that's a very high possibility of not being able to fit between trees and, and stuff like that we can always just recover and then uh, start over and actually take the trails but like this seems to be this seems to be nice smooth open nice little rock formation there one thing you didn't know about me is that I used to be able to draw, and I probably still can, I just haven't done it in a while, but I used to be able to draw rock formations like that and icebergs. I was a huge, for some reason, I was a huge iceberg drawing person. I don't know why. I think it was just because it was completely, absolutely spur of the moment. You, you kind of had an idea of what you wanted it to look like, but like as you're going, you would add cracks and crevices and and all sorts of crazy weird stuff. Um, okay, so it is a helicopter. Um, and how are we going to reach? We gotta go. I think we have to go onto those rocks. I suppose we should have went around. Maybe that will be something we have to do. Cause I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty steep, but if we go slow. We should be okay. Alright, um, yeah, we should be able to put our anchors down. So glad they rotate that way. Um, that anchor, I suppose it's probably touching the ground. And let's just, uh, fish it in. Go nice and slow. Yeah, I suppose that works. I meant to lower it. That's the issue with the uh, the controller. O is supposed to lower it, but it also cancels it. So 
they uh they didn't really think that one through so anyways let's uh, restore the crane and let's try to back out I think I mean that looks like it could be a nightmare we could back up I think we're gonna have to back up and I'm almost tempted to back up the hill there's not going up the hill doesn't make sense but backing up the hill does and then turning around as long as we make it Gotta be careful with those brakes. And okay, let's back up again. Perfect. I, I do have to say that was almost perfect. <laughs> we only need the one spare parts and now we just gotta take it back to our garage. So uh, the nice thing about this is we can just literally follow our trail back. So that's a nice little hint for you guys if you don't want to go to the, uh, I'm assuming that's a power station down there. But uh, if you don't have to go to that power station, which you shouldn't, and you're going in that direction, you can just cut through here. Saves you uh, probably a lot of time. And you technically get a watchtower in the, uh, as a bonus, but I already got that watchtower, so not that, uh, not that big of a deal for me. Alright, let's try to drive up this hill. Let me cut that way so we don't tip so much. Perfect. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna lie, the uh the Azov is pretty good in the snow. It's it's too bad the apparently the Arctic Azov, I haven't used it yet. But apparently that one's not very good. And I think from what I remember, it's because of the uh articulating center. It can cause you if if you're in a turn on a slope, it can actually cause you just to roll over. So it's not really great for hilly maps. Oh, what? I swear I didn't even hit anything. Ah, oh well. Like, look at that. That's a nice little... I think that's a church. Yes, that would be a church. Um... A nice building. Why couldn't that be out in the middle of nowhere on top of the woods? Or on top of a mountain in the woods? Alright, well let's uh let's drive down here. And we can drop this off right at the garage. I'd be amazed if any of this opened up an actual uh, fuel depot or a trailer store. I'd rather have a trailer store, actually, to tell you the truth. Because uh, you can get fuel at trailer stores. You can't get trailers out of fuel. Uh, station. Alright. Boom. That's 3800 bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. What else do we have for task here? Why do I have so little task? Have I just been... No, I feel like I've been knocking out tasks like crazy. Oh, yes. Perfect. Another... Track whacker. Nope. Track walker. That's the correct word. I thought it was tally whacker at first, and that just... 
doesn't make any sense. Um, we don't know where we're going. Ooh. The good. It's a good question. What vehicle do I want to bring? This is literally just scouting stuff, and I think the. I don't know what vehicle I want to do. Hmm. What vehicle's right there? Let's go ahead and yeah, we're we're tracking that one. I believe it's the Oh, it's not the dairy. Not the tartan. All right, you know what? Let's do the Caleb. We're gonna track it over here. Did I just leave this running? I think I did. All right, let's double check the eyes off. Make sure that it's off. I did not turn that off. I don't think I got in that one today. All right, you know what? It's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, we can just go straight. No, we gotta turn around. We gotta go back down the hill. A little bit of a bump there. Nothing too bad. Now, this truck is a lot wider. It's actually a lot wider than the Azov, so that might not be great. Um... Yeah, let's just go, let's go around the, the island, why not? Let's see, oh, nice interior. Have I seen this? I may have actually shown this interior before, I don't remember. That's okay. We actually have a miles per hour gauge that we can read. But we are now cruising along at a balmy 30 miles an hour. Full steer turn. I think we can crash into that and not have a problem. Anyways. Uh, we'll go around the water because that would be uh, that would be dangerous to try to go through it. Oh, it literally wants me to Go right to this point. That's that's strange. Okay, that's stage one completed. Let's uh let's go grab some fuel. Well stage two not that far away. L literally on the other side of this pine tree. Awesome, okay. Perfect. We will do a nice little fancy backup turnaround. I would love to power slide, but uh, unfortunately, or uh, what is it called? J turn? Yeah, I believe it's the J turn. Uh, I would love to do that, but unfortunately, we don't have enough uh, oomph speed going to be able to do that. We will just lock it up here and refuel. Boom. There we go. All right, so yeah, these marks are not uh, not too far apart, so this actually won't be as uh, daunting of a task that uh, I was thinking it was. And it's actually been quite a while since we've completed more than uh, three tasks in one go. So this will be uh, this will be nice if we can actually get another one completed on top of this. And then I believe there's only one more marker after this. Yeah, see these would be the uh, these would be the missions you want to do when you're exploring the map. 
uh, because you gotta kind of have to drive this anyways to explore the map, and these basically make you explore the map, so you know it just kind of makes sense. So if if you're just starting out on this map, go ahead and and do these tasks first if you have access to them. I don't remember when I got access to them because I just I traveled the map and then accepted everything. <laughs> And then finish exploring the map, and then now I'm doing all my tasks. So, um, but yeah, that was pretty quick. That was pretty easy. Dead calm. Uh, what is this task? Dead calm. Well, not so long ago, we were going to fix one of the metro stations, so we sent over a cargo of boards and some workers. Never heard from since. Well, that's good. Great. Like, that's that's amazing. You just sent a whole bunch of people over there and you haven't heard from them. That's kind of not good. Uh, could you go over there and see how things are going? Um, yeah, sure. You know why? Because I have a vehicle literally right there. <laughs> uh, I don't know which one it is. So that will be a, a fun guess of trying to figure out which one it is. Oh, good. Good, good, good. It's my little guy who also has fuel, so... Uh, where am I going? I'm going right there. So... Uh, nope. Trying to turn on all-wheel drive. There we go. Oh, wow. We literally just do donuts in this thing. Okay, well... There's a nice little road here. Oh, I gotta slow down. I was expecting... I was expecting this thing to slow down once I... got to the snow. Oh. It's, it's very slipper, slippery of a, of, of a vehicle. I don't know if it's the tires that cause this. But like, yeah, it's, it's hard to get to turn, but once it starts to turn, it's hard to get it to stop turning. Um, yeah, so I don't think your guys did too much. They were here. They've been doing some work, but it's not much. All right, that's not bad for $3,150, if I do say so myself. Still working? All right. Provided everyone is safe, back to work then. All right, well, you know what? I don't see anyone around, so they must be uh, must be sleeping. But uh, yeah, that's our fourth task done. Um, factory skyline. What is this one? Oh wow! Oh, that would be perfect for the vehicle we have now. Um, but that's all the way on the other side of the map. If I I don't really have a vehicle over here to do this, so... What is Army Reserve? Truck with a crane is recommended. Alright, well, you know what? We've got a truck here. We got our little trailer. We don't have a crane. Sorry, one second. There's just a really weird noise. And I gotta go figure out what that is because it's gonna bug me. Uh, so I will be back in a second. All right, well, turns out it was just a, uh, the TV basically is what it was. So uh, anyways, Let's uh, figure out where we are. We are going to jump into the... I think we're going to do the Azov. It's it's set up. It's at the garage. A little unfortunate, but the good news is we can cut across the, the ice. We should be able to make it over there in time. Uh, we only got about 15 minutes left to the episode. We need a crane, correct? Yes, we need a crane. And 
I don't know why it took me over here. Um, but yeah, let's uh, jump in the ass off. And head on over there. Uh, let's see here. We need... We're not really gonna pass that, are we? I mean, we passed the trailer store. Yeah, let's just let's just go for it. We passed the trailer store. We can technically uh, get a. Although no, we can't get a trailer. Oops. Yeah, I knew I was gonna hit that. Um, let's just recover real quick. We'll just do that instead. Uh, recover, recover, recover. Leave the garage. There we go. Now we fix my one little mistake and we're refueled. So, uh, but we can't put a trailer on this truck because of how far that bed sticks off. It kind of seems silly. But uh, that is one important thing to remember with this vehicle. We cannot get a trailer. We can't pull one out of the trailer store and we can't attach one so it's uh, pretty smart. To uh, not need one, but I think we'll be good. If anything, we can uh, go pick up the secured container, which is probably radioactive by the symbol. And uh, yeah, this this should be a relatively simple drive, as long as I'm heading in the right direction. <laughs> that's uh, that that's gonna be the the major factor. But I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, yeah, we'll turn the lights on. Got about an hour left of sun. I wonder if we watched. We sat here and watched it. Does the sun actually set? Or does it just kind of fade away? That's a, that's a small question. One day I'll probably sit here and watch it and wait, <laughs> but today is not that day. Um, today we're going to try to drive straight. We're going to go around the nightmare of rocks and stones there. And continue to go around the nightmare of rocks and stones. Until we're back out onto the ice. And now we can check to see. Yeah, we just we just keep heading in that direction. around the what looks like weak ice so that we don't fall in. I think this is safe through here. I think. I don't remember. Uh, should I cross or should I not? Um, yes, I suppose I should cross over this. Maybe I should have picked up more speed. Oh, I should have. I definitely should have picked up more speed. Okay, we can back out though. Hopefully we can back out. Oh, come on. Why are you turning? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I definitely should have uh, picked up some more speed.
We've got nothing to winch on to. I should have crossed back there, actually. I think there's a point where... If I go slow, will it get me out? Alright, cool. Well, this is not a great start. Do I have a truck nearby? I do not have a truck nearby at all. I think the dairy is the closest one. Yeah. Let's uh, send the dairy to the rescue. Alright, so now it will pretty much be a miracle if we can get to the uh, secure container before this episode is over. Because of my wonderful driving skills that I still have not learned to avoid the light blue ice. Literally. So all I have to do is avoid it. <clears throat> and we would have been fine. We probably would have been loading up the container right now. And we would have had no problems, no problems at all. All right. Anyways, um, that trailer looks like it's floating. It also looks like it's just missing all of its tires. Let's go check that out. Oh, there they go. Now they're in. Um, where do I got to go? I'm going in the wrong direction as usual. That's, we, weren't, we weren't going in the wrong direction as usual for very long. Probably should have fueled up though. Back. We're gonna fuel up. It's the smart thing to do. Boom. There we go. Now this truck can go much farther. Whoa. I thought that was a tanker or something. Now I gotta be careful, I don't wanna end up sinking this thing in. Or apparently destroying it with ice. Alright, and just like that, with two gallons of fuel left. You know, I kind of just feel like um, dragging this behind us. <laughs> I wonder if the because the Azov is a lot slower than the Dairy. I wonder if we can actually pull the Azov faster than it can drive on ice. Um, is that the right spot? Why is that marked? This whole time I was driving to the wrong spot. I got stuck because I was driving to the wrong spot. And it doesn't even look like... Hmm. Well. Who would have thunk it? Alright, let's turn around. We'll head that way. I'll actually turn off the, uh, the as off. 
You're gonna see, can I get into fourth gear? I'm in third. Go ahead and It says it's on, but it's not acting like it's on. Oh, oh, let's not go. Let's not get stuck. Apparently my marker now has uh, disappeared. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna leave the ads off here, or not the ads off the uh, the dairy here. Actually, with this configuration, because I, I have the other transmission, I think. Oh, no, I don't. That would be six gears. Um, we're going to go around. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll drive around these little outcrops. Once I get some grip, I can start accelerating. There we go. I thought I had more lights on them, this thing than that. I suppose if I turned my beakers on. Beacons, not beakers. I think it's safe to go across the ice. Getting a little bit of traction, never hurt anyone. Uh, now, hold on a second. Yeah, we definitely want to be on that side. Yeah, I think we're just going to head straight up over the hill. Looks like a safe bet. There wasn't a tree there. I didn't see a tree. There's second gear. Alright, what do we got on this side? I think this is where that trail is. Now that's the trail there. Um, I think I'm gonna go left. Come on. Come over. Uh, we can just cut through here. Perfect, no problem. Things getting thoughts, and we're good to go. Um. I think we can squeeze through here. If not, we'll figure something out. Nope. Come on. 
Alright, we're a little bit over our time, but that's okay. I'm just gonna keep going. We'll end this episode once I get the uh, quarter mile away. That was a little... That was a little... <laughs> little steeper than I thought it would have been. Is this open water? I hope it is. I hope it's nice, solid ice. That's not much of it, but every little uh, amount counts, I guess. Uh, let's see. Where? I guess we gotta go through here and then around. Ooh, this is about as messy as I thought it would be. Alright, we've got the secured package. Alright, we will pack this up and uh, take care of this the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.